What's good guys, this is Joseph and today I'm finally back with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be learning how to do a cinematic slide effect that you saw in the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and get right into After Effects and not waste any time here. Um, as you can see this is the project file that's going to be in the description as always for you to download and follow along with me. Um, we're going to go ahead and recreate the same kind of effect. We're not going to sync the uh, clip because I have tutorials on that already. And I'll just show you how to do the cinematics really quick and then we'll go from there. So right now I have the composition open that's in the description and I'm going to put this down a quarter so everything will be a little bit faster. So this is like this is the shot before the cinematic comes. So let's just say we're going to do this and just recreate it instead of having to go from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these cinematics just delete, 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 and then I'm going to delete those too. So you pretty much have the song, and to get the wavelength, audio wavelength, press L twice, and then there you go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit, and these are the gun sounds. I'll go ahead and delete these. We don't really need them, and we're just going to have the clip transition from the clip right here to the... Uh, Cinematic. So I have the cinematics right here and they're going to be in the description too so you can use the same ones. And so as of a base, it's kind of like a base cinematic, I used this one on the because so, it's on the bottom and then in the middle of the three as you saw in the preview. So right here and then just press Control alt t on your keyboard to enable time remapping and then go ahead and delete this keyframe and then we're going to go ahead and sync it just really quick just to get so I can show you guys how. So just drag this over holding shift and it'll snap to your marker you have here. If you don't want to make these markers, you just click over here and just drag it in. So now we got our first cinematic down. I'm just going to drag this forward a little bit until the actual camera starts moving because that's when the cinematic starts. So the camera's moving. I'm going to go to the last keyframe or the last part of the clip and just slide it forward making a new keyframe until I want it to end. And so it ends about right there. I'm going to go ahead and drag this back a little bit. As you can see, the camera is not moving anymore. So I'm just going to keep dragging it back until I see the camera that is still moving. So then we never have, we don't have any of the part where like he's just running and the dolly camera is not going anywhere. Because that looks kind of choppy and sloppy. You, just want it, you want it to be perfect, so take your time making the edit as good as you can. It's going a little bit slow because I'm recording, but that's okay. And so, all right, there we go. Saw the camera move a little bit. Just press this. It highlights both of the keyframes. Press F9 on your keyboard or right click the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then go into this graph editor right here. And then you can further edit the keyframes. And so now it's a nice curve. Just take this one, click the point, drag it up, and then kind of like make it stick to the wall is what people usually say. And you can maybe drag it in a little bit. And you can you just play around with this curve. I'm not going to play around with it too much because it's a tutorial. It's just for a tutorial purpose only. So now that we have that, we don't have to touch this clip at all. So now we just drag in the next clip and pretty much do the same exact thing. Like I'm not going to keep doing. I'm not going to do it two times in a row because you do the, like pretty much the same exact thing you just did. Press Control Alt T and then you know drag the drag the clip over here and delete the keyframe. And just the same thing over and over again. So right now we're just going to pretend that I did that. And then we can go from there. So say you wanted the clip. Because the main part of this tutorial is showing you how to do the uh, the three bars. And if you go over here to the grid and guide options. Press proportional grid. In two boxes you can see two boxes equals one third of the screen. If you're looking at it like that. So for this cinematic, let's say we've synced it up and we started it at the guy at when he died. So that's when the camera starts moving right there. And let's say this keyframe is synced up and we just move it all along. So now it looks like we synced it up, but I'm not gonna actually gonna I'm not gonna go in the graph editor to do that. So what you want to do for this is go up here to this rectangle button. Or a rectangle and make sure that this layer is selected 
and then go ahead and try to get as close as you can to this line. The There's one box, first box, and then the second box. And you know, just get close to it, as close as you can, and make a box. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then go over to your just like arrow tool, double click one of the corners, and just drag it up and out as far as you can, or as far as you want to. As long as it's not touching or anywhere near this box, you'll be fine. And so now you see it made a mask around this uh, clip. So then if you press P on your keyboard, you can go ahead and drag the clip up. Oh, wait, hold up. Drag the clip up. Okay, so now the mask is kind of moving as you move it. So I guess if you wanted to, I guess I forgot, just move the clip up clip up first just like that and then go ahead and put your mask on it so try to get as close as you can to that line so now you can see it's already starting to look like that so my bad um, move the clip before you put the mask on it is what we just learned right here so in the same way take the next clip if you have three cinematics to use if you have more then I guess you can do more but I think three is about the most you can do if you wanted to do like four then you would have to go like long ways like this or maybe even diagonal um, just play around with it. it doesn't have to be the same thing every single time it's gonna look different every single time and that's what you want you don't want it to be like like a like you don't want it to be like a the same exact effect for every edit you do because then it's gonna be kind of repetitive you want it to be a little unique so now we're going to do the same thing with this clip. Control Alt T, pretend, pretend sync it. Just drag this keyframe right here. And then, you know, drag this forward until the camera starts moving. Pretend that I'm syncing it because you don't really need to. It's a tutorial. So there we go. Go to the net last keyframe as if you're actually syncing it. And then, you know, just drag it forward. So it's looking good. I promise you I don't go this slow when I'm actually editing my videos. It's just uh, that I'm recording and all this stuff. So it's looking good, I guess. So let's just say it's synced up. It looks good to me. So now we're going to move it down this time. Holding shift. So there we go. Okay, it looks good right there you can kind of see where we want it right there is good and then go ahead and grab that rectangle tool and then make a mask and then kind of eyeball it a little bit and so now there we go now you can see all three you can go ahead and turn this grid off now we don't need it you can see all three I'll put the quality back up to full see all three is there and if that's what you want then you can go ahead and stop watching the video but we're gonna further edit this by making this one slide in from this side and this one slide in from that side so let's go ahead and get started with that now that we have everything maxed out and everything so it's pretty easy from now so we'll go ahead and uh, go to the beginning of the beginning of the keyframe that you want it to come in at and then let's just do the top one first press P on your keyboard for position well, I already had it pressed and then take the left and remember that this says 640 and so just drag this one to the left until it's about not right off of the screen but like maybe about that far is a good is good to do and then go to the next one press P and then drag it to the right and then make them about the same distance away as you can see this distance should be the same it's not it doesn't have to be perfect though you're not gonna really notice it too much so now that we've done that now we go in and depending on how our right, hold up press the um, position key so it makes a keyframe and then go in and depending on how smooth you want it to be you would you make this keyframe further away but I want it to be fast because the song is kind of a faster pace sort of so just go ahead and change those numbers back to 640 and then they'll be back in the middle of the uh, screen on top of each other looking nice so and I could have made this a little bit higher 
But it's just a tutorial. You're going to mess up when you do it. And you're going to have to go back and fix them. But I'm not going to do that right now because it's just a tutorial. So we've got that down. You can see them sliding. But now you want to highlight both all four of the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. And then go into the graph editor for each one individually. And then right click and make sure speed graph is selected because if you go to value graph you're not going to really get to change that much stuff so make sure speed graph is selected which is easier to use anyways and so drag this in a little bit because we don't want it to ease in we want it to be a little bit just drag that handle to the left and drag this all the way to the left that's what i do for that effect specifically and just kind of mimic the same thing on this side so now if you watch it they go can they come in fast and then they ease to a stop and if you want to make it look even better enable motion blur and then enable motion blur on those specific layers so now when they're moving it has a little bit of blur to them and then that's pretty much it if you want you can composite it and make some weird effect where it looks like it actually is like a where it just looks better in my opinion or you can just leave it like that it looks good in my opinion if you want to. You can add like a bright flash or like a blur or something like that. Kind of like I did in the um, preview. I had I added a, uh, I think I added a directional blur and an exposure flash. But, you know, that's just me. So, other than that, I hope you guys learned from this. I hope you guys uh, use this in your edits. I think it looks really cool. And it's not, it doesn't have to be just like a rectangle. You can use a circle if you wanted to. If you didn't like the way the mask looked, you can use a circle to uh, mask out a cinematic and make some cool effect like that. But I'll leave that for a later tutorial on in the future. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave a like if you did, because I haven't uploaded in a while, so I don't know how many of you are going to see this. I don't know if you guys even watch me anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, leave a comment if you have any other questions. Or my DMs are always open on Twitter if you want to message me there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.